Hi, I'm Jorge. And I'm Liz. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. So hi guys, I am currently in the van. I'm at the girls' school, trying to find a parking spot um, so I can get out and pick them up. Um, Jorge is at the magic shop right now. Um, one of his good friends owns two magic shops and he was invited to have like a little get together with a bunch of other magicians so he's like super super excited about doing that um really excited about doing that so i'm sure you guys will hear all about that when he goes live tonight i'm gonna try to park right here So yeah, it's a beautiful day out here today. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm sure you guys can see the clear blue skies, but it's awesome. I'm so glad it's nice out. Like I was getting so, so, so tired of the horrible weather, okay? I can't park here? Okay. All right, apparently I can't park here because I'm just a couple feet behind the they're very picky about parking over here by the school and it's so freaking hard to find parking. Like this place is packed, even though I'm like 10 minutes early, it's, it's literally packed. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna go park in the parking lot, which that means I have to freaking, oh my God, this is freaking horrible. I don't know why they do this. Sorry. No, I have nothing to be sorry for. But it's literally, like, I don't know why they let people park in this on this street. Um, there's literally no room for cars to get through here. Um, they need to have a different setup here because it's really hard to come find a spot to pick up your kids. If you want to get them um, on time, you got to be here early, early, early to get a good parking spot okay or else you're gonna be looking for a parking spot they're gonna let the kids out and then if you don't come right at 2 30 if you're not there like they keep them out here for a couple minutes and then if you're not there they take them back inside and put them in the auditorium so then you have to go to the office and then you gotta wait for them to call them from the auditorium and it just it takes forever so it's like better to be early so we're in the parking lot right now um usually i don't even park in the parking lot i try to park on the street but there was no parking spots this time i tried it i tried to park over by the buses and i was just like a couple feet past the cone where you're not supposed to park so yeah Got all the stuff to take care of here. Fun, fun, fun. Hi guys. Welcome. I'm about to do some dishes, okay? So, Jorge is in the bedroom right now. He's doing some um, spirit talker, talker, blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk. Um. Okay, so welcome guys. Or is doing a spirit talker app in the bedroom on YouTube live with you guys right now. Um yesterday I went in the bathroom in the bathroom in the bedroom while he was out here doing it and I ended up falling asleep. So I got way too comfortable. Um, so this time I made him go in there and, um, well, I didn't make him, we agreed about it. Um, and I'm out here because I need to get stuff done. I need to do dishes. I need to do some laundry. Um, I need to catch up on some stuff. 
So basically today I went to Walmart, um, got a couple things. I had to get a big thing of paper towels. Um, I also got, uh, well the other day I got Mariah a bathing suit. She picked a bathing suit out and so today I picked one out for Sophie and I got, um, I picked out one for more too and it's so cute. I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to show, show it to you guys. It's like a little Care Bear bathing suit. It's so freaking adorable. Um, so I'm going to try to get these dishes done as quick as I can. Um, because I don't want to be standing here doing this all day. Because dishes is not, let's face it guys, dishes is not really the funnest thing in the world. Um, you know, like maybe someday when me and Jorge, hopefully someday buy a house together, um, I would like to maybe have a, a dishwasher. Because I've never had a dishwasher before. I've always just done dishes like by hand. And, you know, that would be pretty cool. That might make my life easier. Um, yeah. So I've been doing a lot of dishes. That's what happens when you cook at home, which is good. But um, one thing about cooking at home every day instead of like eating out so much. Um, is it, it means more dishes. So, and the only disposable thing that I use is just, I use paper plates. I do use paper plates. Um, I would like to hopefully someday transition over to like plastic or ceramic plates, but for now, I use that just because it's easier to, um, it's easier to clean up after meals and stuff like that. Um, you know, if I didn't use, if I didn't use paper plates, I would be doing a lot of dishes. Um, yeah, because all those plates and everything, that, that adds up, you know what I mean? That adds up. baby bottles to wash these the baby bottles take some time too because they have like all these different parts to them they got one two three four like five different parts to the bottle that you have to wash like individually you know what i mean um and you have to wash them good because you can't leave them like with dirty or bacteria on them because they're baby bottles you know what i mean that's what amori eats from so they have to be like perfectly clean um yeah, so that's what I'm about to start next, actually, is the bottle. Yeah, so before he's on the Spirit Talker app, um... Yeah, last night he like got some crazy shit happening with with that app. Like, I personally really don't want to have anything to do with it, and like I have other stuff I gotta do anyway, so it's fine. Like, as long as he keeps it, you know, tries to keep it under control, then I don't have a problem with it. It was a beautiful day out today. Hold on. Okay, so um, right now I'm filling up the ice cube trays. Get that out of the way. Um, the other day at Walmart, me and Jorge were looking at this, like, because we don't have an ice cube maker in the fridge. It's, like, a pretty old fridge. So, we were looking at these, like, ice makers that they have at Walmart. And they're, like, a hundred bucks. But I think maybe, like, sometime I want to get one of those. Um, because we fill up our water bottles a lot. And so, like, we use a lot of ice. 
and I think having an ice maker would be like would be like really nice. Where he likes a lot of ice in his water. He likes it like full of ice. Me, I could like mine it doesn't have to be full, but I do like ice too. If we had an ice maker, I'd probably fill mine up too. But these things can be like a pain in the butt sometimes because you have to sit there and fill them up and then you gotta wait and yeah. But it's ice. It's ice, so you have to wait for it to freeze. So I got one more after this one. My water bottle could be could use filled up too. I have some other. I have four of these, and then I have like these two little black ones. But I gotta fill up my water bottle. I need to drink some water. I don't think I've been drinking enough water today. These are the, uh, I have two of these ice cube trays. These ice cubes are like tiny. So like, you kind of need to use a lot. And this water bottle is huge. I got one of these water bottles. Like Jorge has, he has like a green one that he uses. Which I like this because it's easy to like, it's, it's better because you don't have to keep filling it throughout the day because with like a small uh, with a smaller water bottle obviously you have to like keep filling it up if you're drinking a lot of water Too. I'm not done washing the bolt washing the um the bottles yet, but I just have a couple more things to do and I'm done. Then I need to clean the litter box. My hair looks really orange under this light right here. And um I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did my eyebrows earlier today. I bought like one of those little razors that you like can do it yourself and I did it myself and I don't know I think I did a pretty good job if I don't say so myself it's not perfect but um it definitely looks better it's like unfocused there we go hi guys so Jorge is in the other room on live still and I'm just laying on the couch relaxing and I wanted to mention that yesterday um while me and Jorge were driving back from my mom's house we ran into well, I happen to notice um, at the bus stop, um, somebody that I used to know that um, used to live with Jason, <clears throat> my baby dad, okay? Um, my Sophie and Bubba's dad. Um, so I stopped because I wanted to talk to her because she actually went through... Um, abuse from Jason as well and pretty severe abuse it might have even been worse than how he treated me um so I stopped and spoke to her for a little bit and um we exchanged numbers and um I might possibly be having her over here um to talk about um her maybe making a video and telling her story um, because I think that she has a lot, um, that she wants to, I think that she has a lot that she wants to say. And maybe, you know, if we can let her speak out on this platform, it might get some, you know, the word out there, um, about this man. It might help her, you know, with her healing journey. It might, you know, bring awareness to, 
domestic violence. Um, I know, you know, like, everybody heals differently. Everybody's got a different journey. Um, but you never know. Like, I, I feel better after speaking about him. So, you know, maybe it could be beneficial for her, too. Um, so you guys might be seeing a video soon. Okay, so Jorge's out here in the kitchen, um, making, making me a sandwich. <laughs> what? I'll take a wrap. A wrap. Or maybe the bread, is there bread left? Is that two pieces? If it is, I'll take it. Yeah. Get you mine? Huh? You mind? I just gotta put up throw another egg. Okay, because that looks good. This is how Jorge makes eggs. And it's really good. I don't know what the technical name for that is, but um yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Look, all you gotta do is just this basically. Crack the egg. Okay. And just throw that sucker right there. And it's like Ooh. fried egg. Fried egg. Wow cooking videos with Jorge. They're gonna like this, baby. Yeah. And so, once you have it, right? So we got my boy to here. So number three. Mm -hmm. right, and then you come here. And this is some what of your, how your egg should look like. Yeah, that was the good. The yolk looks kind of cooked. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't like, I don't, I, would, I don't like it to be runny. Yeah. But sometimes you gotta kind of like squeeze it, make sure that it's not coming see. out. I see, I see. Or that one, you see how that oh, one Oh, yep, 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 yep. It busts. So that's how you get it, to bust. Now how the way you know it's ready is because you see that clear, uh, Yolk around the yolk, that yeah. clear stuff, yeah. that will actually turn like almost white. Okay. So you see it's not going to be so much see-through. Okay. So that's how you know the egg is ready to be flipped upside. You know, on low fire though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not too low of a fire, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? Okay, so you see here how the yolk is somewhat visible, clear, Yeah. but it's not fully clear. Uh -huh. So therefore you take it out, go like this, right? Uh -huh. Obviously, and then it's almost ready to oh. get flipped over. All you gotta do is just kind of like flip it over, mm -hmm. right? And just let it sit there on a medium yeah. uh, fire. So you that don't have nice. like. Now, do you put salt and pepper on it? Like you that? Could, yeah, you could after it's ready, or you could do it as, yeah. as you're doing it there. You want I yours? Would, yeah, can you? Just yeah. a little bit. So, salt and pepper, Not basically, too much. when you put it, look. Oh, gosh. You come here and. Oh, wow. Is there that even getting on? Oh my Is lord. That, and then you get the pepper. Oh right, wow. And, uh, and there you go. Wow. And that is from the chef Magic de Jorge. So you gotta <laughs> kind of like show up your little builtness, like. Ooh. Wow. Okay, here. that's enough. That's enough. That's mm. enough. There you go. Magic de Jorge builtness chef. Oh. And then I'm just ready to cook that. And then, as you can see, these right here, baby, these bacons are done, right? Um, they're getting there. I would keep them just for a little bit longer. Yeah, that side is definitely nice looking nice. And now, guys, look, you come over here and obviously put your bread to toast. And get your plates up and ready. Mm-hmm. Ready to go, guys. Ready to go, guys. And I'm ready to eat. So now, obviously, look here. Obviously, I want some butter take, on my bread, too. Oh, I don't want that cheese. cheese on mine. It's not for you. Okay, I'm you just take the cheese, obviously, you put it right there. Slap that bad boy right there. All right, here's a real healthy, uh, I won't say real healthy, but it's um, somewhat healthy, uh, sort of like breakfast sandwich or whatever, right? Uh -huh. And then I kind of like throw that bad boy right there. 
And then, once that bad boy busts, uh, oh my God, then you're ready for your little performance, guys. So, it's ready, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that one definitely is. That one needs a little bit more. Feel the little crust there, and then you come over here. Take that bad boy, throw that sucker right there. Take that other bad boy. Uh, I want mine. I want my bread buttered. Buttered? Yeah. If possible. What were you gonna do? I was gonna. Um, I was gonna. After I told one time over there, I was gonna put it in here as a sandwich, and I was gonna put the butter and shredded cheese, and then sandwich oh. it. Um, okay, well, yeah, do it then. Do it however you were gonna do it. Huh? Chef Jorge, Chef Magic Day Jorge, cooking videos. And this is the sandwich Jorge made for me. It's delicious. Now Jorge is making some breakfast quesadillas. Oh, damn! Oh, be so careful, much. baby. Wow. Whoa! Oh, shit, that, that baby. Made that, happen. that oh, was that, good. That was good. Yeah. yeah. The cheese burned just, the cheese is what held it together. Mm. Bubba. Thank you. Go lay down. I love you. Oh, good night, honey. And one, two, and three. There we go. There you go. Mm. Okay, hold on, Bubba. So, guys, this is the bathing suit that I told you about for... Uh, baby girl, look how cute this is, guys. Little Care Bears. Here she is. She's been sleeping, so um, she's going to be getting up here soon. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be going to bed. But it is nighttime, so... Um, Good night, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.